had a convention for even evil literature characters. A vote to determine who was the best evil villain came down to Wicked Witch of the West, Captain Hook, Professor Moriarty, and Voldemort. What? Really? What? Who else? No one. No one? Harry Potter, Voldemort? Wicked Witch of the West? Okay, one person. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Professor Moriarty, Sherlock Holmes. Peter Pan. Shame on all of you. I am uh, signing you all up for an English literature class <laughs> next semester. In fact, hmm, yeah, only Wicked Witch of the West is American. The other three are British. Isn't, isn't Frank L. Baum from, like you guys even know who that is, isn't he from America, the author of Wizard of Oz? I think he's American. All right, so yeah, I'm going to sign you up for a British children's literature course. All right. Part A, using the pairwise comparison method, who won? And then in part B, we're going to do the pairwise comparison method again, but we're going to take out some people to make the setup for the irrelevant alternatives criterion. So we have four candidates. So we're going to do, let's go in order from which they're presented in the problem. We're going to do the Wicked Witch. Oh, my gosh. We're going to do the Wicked Witch versus Hook. We're going to do the Wicked Witch versus Moriarty. We're going to do Wicked Witch versus Voldemort. Then we're going to do Hook versus Moriarty. And Hook versus Voldemort. And who's left? Left. Moriarty, Voldemort. Well, if you have the Netflix, you should watch Sherlock, which is a modern retelling of the stories. Really, really good. Really good. Not while you're doing your homework, though. No. All right. Wicked Witch versus Hook. In the first column, who gets what votes? Hook gets 90. Second column? Okay, first off, I should have asked, how many total people are there? 200. Hook's already got 160. Who wins? Hook. Wicked Witch versus Moriarty. Moriarty. For 90. And we can stop, because that's over 101. Uh, does not look good for the witch. She's too nice. Wicked Witch versus Voldemort. Voldemort. Uh-oh. It's a tie. So they each get a half. That's our first tie. Oh, wait, no! It's not a tie. Who said it was a tie? I also echoed it. It's not a tie. Which wins? Oh, that's in purple. Who cares? That's fine. Yep. Yeah, the W and V is too close. I shouldn't have done that. Sorry about that. Hook versus Moriarty. Hook wins. 90 and 70. We can stop there. Hook versus Voldemort. Voldemort's going to win. Voldemort gets the first column with 90. And the third column was 30. 
Moriarty and Voldemort. What do you, I'm sorry, what are you saying? It's a tie, let's see. Moriarty gets, who am I looking at? M and W, or M and V. So Voldemort gets this one, and then 70, and then also the 30. And then, okay, so this is a tie. So, let's add them up. So Wicked Witch gets one. Wah, wah. Who's next? Hook gets two. Moriarty gets one and a half. Voldy just a half. Oh, one and a half. Very good. Thank you. Who wins? Hook. Good form. Literature choke, joke there. You're welcome. All right, so part B, Moriarty and the Wicked Witch are kicked out because as it says, they like to hug kittens. How terrible. They can't be the evil person. So they are eliminated. So we're taking out all the W's and the M's. Don't even care about them. So if we're taking out the W's and the M's, then who's left? Voldemort and Hook. We'll look at our Voldemort and Hook uh, comparison. It's the last purple one. Who won? Voldemort. I'm just going to write the first three letters. I'm too lazy. All right. Well, the pairwise comparison method, method violated the irrelevant alternatives criterion because we eliminated two people who didn't matter to the election. They weren't going to win. But in eliminating those people, we were left with Voldemort winning instead of Hook. That's what it takes to violate that criterion. But as I said, as the book mentions, all four methods can violate this criterion. I think, do I have another slide, or is this it? I got one more. Oh, okay. So we're going to do it again with the board account method. We'll go quick. Let's start with W. Uh, so again, this is one, two, three, four. So for the witch, we'll do 90 times 1 plus what's next? Plus. Good. 20. Oh, 10 times 3. Thank you. I got 420. Did anyone else get 420? 90. Mm -hmm. 420. Okay. Hook. We have 90 times 3 plus 70 times 4, 
plus 30 times 1 plus 10 times 4. I got 630. And everyone's okay, I'm just going to keep writing. Moriarty. Got 450 for that one. And then Thomas Riddle. According to the Board of Cow method, Hook wins. Previously in math class, we started this problem. And now we're going to finish it. So if you remember, We're going to use the border count method. And if you recall, we were talking about, um, yeah, this was the irrelevant alternatives criterion. And I'll just read this real quick. If a candidate wins an election and in a recount, the only changes are one or more of the candidates are removed then that same candidate should still win the election. So as it is right now, from what we had, um, Hook won the election with 630 points according to the board account method. And as it's going to say, Moriarty and the Wicked Witch are being dropped out. And now from the remaining candidates, we only have Hook and Voldemort left over. And according to that rule, what should happen is that Hook should win again. So this table that we have here, is that right? Yeah. We're going to shrink this down uh, and take out any time where we see Moriarty and the Wicked Witch. So Moriarty and Wicked Witch are gone. Oh, that's nice of those together. That makes ah, oh, this one's not. So if we need to, let's really quickly redraw this. The two and the one are the points off to the side. We have some repeats. We could put some columns together if we really wanted to, but it's not too much more work. So starting with Voldemort, because it really doesn't matter which one you start with. In the first column, he wins two points 90 times. In the second column, he wins one point 70 times. In the third column, he wins two points. Good. And in the last column, he wins. Good. What is two times 90 plus blah, 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 blah? Did you get 320? Good. So according to this rule, Hook should have a score higher than 320 because he should still win because we took out two candidates. That didn't matter. So for Hook, it'll be 1 times 90 plus 2 times 70 
plus 1 times 30 plus 2 times 10. Two eighty. Well, who did not see that coming? Hopefully, no one, because this problem is all rigged. So, notice the board account method did not satisfy the irrelevant alternatives criterion because now Voldemort wins the election. Wah wah.